Hey folks, it's me, Giovanni Petiti, and thank you for joining me for another great episode of Giovanni and Me on Rogers TV, huh? But then again, what else are you going to watch in this time slot? Dancing with the Stars? The Leafs in the playoffs? <laughs> this is the hottest show on television thanks to you and all you people who write in and want to be on the show. And I got to tell you, I received a great, great letter, huh? From the St. John's College Job Skills class, they wanted to teach me how to cook. And trust me, I need it. I don't want to say my wife's a bad cook, but in my house, we pray after we eat. You're going to love this segment I call Bon Appetiti. Well, folks, here I am at St. John's High School to answer a very, very special request. You see, the job skills class sent me a little challenge. If you're not familiar with the job skills program, it's located throughout your high school communities. Now, these are very special people who come to school every day and give it 110%. They are the inspiration to all the staff and students throughout the city, and I couldn't say no. You see, they found out that I eat these little frozen calzone pops. They were, they were shocked. They said, how could that be possible? I said, I'm not a good cook. They said they can teach me how to make real homemade calzones, and I can't say no to these kids. So here's a teacher right here, Mr. O'Sullivan. Mr. O'Sullivan, you're a little harsh in that email you sent me, I gotta tell you. Well, Giovanni, seeing that you're an Italian-Canadian, to know that you're eating things out of the microwave, very disappointed. Yeah, he was just doing what he said. He goes, what else? Do I drink my wine out of a box? Do I eat my spaghetti out of a can? You were harsh, but it seems complicated. Are you sure these kids can teach me? Giovanni, I learn from them every day, and today, it's your turn to learn. You know, I hear that all over like the school. I heard that you learn more from them than they do from you. Very true. Yeah, then you should give them half your salary. <laughs> no. Well, I'm here with Rebecca and Victoria. Say hi to everybody out there. Hi. Uh, now, you guys told me this was going to be easy. This always looks already a little more complicated. I don't know. Are you sure I, I can handle this? Yeah. This looks more complicated than my taxes, for crying out loud. Okay, I trust you. So we're going to make the dough, right? Yes, my uncle wanted to be a baker, but he couldn't raise the dough. <laughs> Get it? But a boom! That's fantastic. All right, so we're gonna make the dough first. Let's do. Let's do it. What do we got? What do you have to put in there? One teaspoon of yeast. Yeast. But yeast. Yeast. Yeah. Yeast. I know that's fantastic. Yeast. Okay, but first we gotta get the top off. That's it. It's already complicated. I should have got the pizza pops. All right. All right. All right. Now we gotta add the flour, right, Rebecca? Yeah. That's fantastic. And yeah. uh, okay, it's, it's my wife's favorite kind of flour is Robin Hood. That's yeah. what I, that's what the flour I get her for her anniversary, her birthday. She wants flour, I get her Robin Hood. Okay. Okay. That's fantastic. So, uh, how many cups was that? Two cups? Uh, three, I think. Three cups? Two and a half. Two. And two, a half. two and a half. All right, put it in there. Dump that in there. Fantastic. All right. And then the, now the yeast was like it's all soaked up in there. Now that goes in there, right? Wait, well, listen. Listen, what does it say? Now, do it now. Okay, throw it in there now. It's ready, I think. Right? All right. That looks perfect. All right, Victoria, what are you doing now? The salt. The salt, that's important. You got to throw How much salt goes in there? Uh, One teaspoon. Throw it in there. Let's see what we got there. It's fantastic. That's good. All right. Mm-hmm. There we go. Fantastic. We got the yeast. We got the flour. Oh, look at this. What is this? What is this? Not just any oil, extra virgin olive oil, huh? Uh, this is what I use for my hair. It's fantastic. I know all about this is good stuff. Rebecca, is this a spoon that we're going to use? Yes. That's fantastic. Now, this is the way my mother used to trail the spoons on me before she cooked. You ready? Ready. Don't do that again, because if you do, you... See, that's, that's, that, that works. Let's try that. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, see if that works. That's Italian mothers. They hate you in syllables. <laughs> and it's bad, because Italian words got more syllables, you know? Oh. But you learn how to do something that doesn't take a long explanation. Like you, you don't want to get in trouble with the long... You will not take the cat to the dryer and put it on fluff. <laughs> Stuff like that. Okay, it looks good, but now we got one very important step, right? Right. What's that? We gotta wait for um for an uh, hour. Uh, 
half, half hour. hour. This is quick rising. Half hour for the dough to rise, right? Yes. Okay, so let's put it on there. We're going to wait for the rise. So uh, what are we going to do for half an hour? We got to wait. Just wait. I got a better idea. I say we dance. All right, our next stage is going to be done with Brandon and Clarissa. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. Excited to be here? Yes, I am. Are you nervous? No, I'm not. Not? Uh, Brandon, are you nervous? Am I nervous? Uh, no, sorry about my good man. All right. Listen, I got to tell you something. I know you shouldn't be nervous because you were once on the set with me on Swap Shop. You remember that? Oh, you bet I do, buddy. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> bad. That was bad. You did a fantastic job. So you know what you're doing here. Now, this is, uh, so far, I'm starting like, to believe the dough has risen. Everything looks good. Uh, this looks like uh, it might be better than the pizza pop. What do you think? Yes. Yes, for sure. What's the next step? Our next step is we're going to, um, we have to pick up the dough, and then we have to roll into a ball. And then after we roll it to a ball, we have to put it on the pan and add some flour, and then we're going to roll it. Right. Is that right? Uh, yes, it sure is, my good man. All right. <laughs> looking, he's thinking about it, he's reading the, the lay of the land, and put the cheese on there for crying out loud, I got all day! Oh, and he's decided to go on the wrong side of the calzone. You have to go over here. <laughs> All right, now we have Aaron and Bailey. How are you guys doing? Good. I understand you guys are the closers. You guys are the engineers of the Panzerati, right? Okay, go ahead. Let's see what you can do. Look at this. They're slowly raising the dough. It's a two-man operation. Ah, look at this, perfectly folded. The trick here, look at Aaron. Look, Bailey, they are, it's the pinching. We have to pinch the ends so it stays in. All right, I'm here with Amy for our next step. Amy, what do you think so far? Well, I like I like shredding cheese because I've been doing it when I was at at home, and I like doing it. I've been doing it for for a couple of years. I understand you are a very good cheese shredder, and that's important because you want the fresh mozzarella in the calzone, right? Yes. That's fantastic. Now, I understand you dressed all like Hawaiian because some people are making Hawaiian calzones. Is that right? Yes. Yes, but well, I don't eat Hawaiian calzones. I know that. Because they'll kick me out of the Italian club if I have pineapples in my calzones, right? Right. Right, fantastic. I understand. Okay, uh, now we have to put this in the oven, right? Yeah. All right, we're going to open the oven, uh, preheat it to 350 degrees Celsius. Amy's going to come in. Look at that, slide the calzone in the oven. Fantastic. Close it right up. Baba, now go ta-da. Ta-da. Ta-da, beautiful. I like that, that's good, that's very nice. I'm here with Paul and Cody, and these guys got a very important job. What do you guys do? What do you? What is the next step? The calzone's been in there for 30 minutes. Now what? We're gonna take it out. Gotta take it out. Yeah, we have to take it out. That's fantastic. Are right, you think it's done? Not too sure. Not too sure. <laughs> I don't know, huh? You think it's done? Let's find out. Let's. <laughs> I like these guys. Get right to the point. <laughs> All right, here it is, girls, the moment of truth. Your homemade calzone versus the calzone pops right from the microwave. All right, this is going to be it. You challenged me, and I'm going to find out who the winner is. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm a little nervous. Here it goes, here it goes. Is it are, good? Are you kidding? Only three words can describe this. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Well, well, well. We gotta try the calzone pops now. Mm -hmm. 
lady, ladies, the winners, hands down, your homemade calzone! Unbelievable difference. Nice.